Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at change automation. But to understand that, we need to first talk about change management. So this is a standard approach to apply change and resolving conflicts brought about by change. In the context of IAC, change management is the procedure that will be followed when resources are modified and applied via configuration scripts. So what is change automation then? It is a way of automatically creating a consistent, systematic, and predictable way of managing change requests via control and policies. Notice, and I should have probably emphasized this, is change requests saying, I'm going to change these resources. Terraform uses change automation in the form of execution plans and resource graphs, which we'll look at detail those two things in upcoming slides, and apply review complex change sets. So a change set is a collection of commits that represents changes made to a versioning repository. And for IAC, it uses change sets so you can see what has changed by who over time. So when I say versioning repository, that doesn't necessarily mean Git. Uh, and if you're using GitOps, I suppose you could consider your change sets being committed to that. But something like CloudFormation, uh, when you uh, apply a change, you actually have to accept a change set. Uh, and so the version repository is part of AWS. And so um, you know, Terraform, you just kind of accept it in place. It's not necessarily on your local machine. Uh, but it gets reflected in your state file, okay? So change automation allows you to know exactly what Terraform will change and in what order, avoiding many possible human errors. Uh, a change automation is essential to any IAC tool. They all have it, okay? So there we go.